Often, we may need to have more than one MySQL server instance running in the same environment. And the proposal for that could be you have projects from different customers and each customer needs to have one separated environment to process its data. And as you can see here, we have just one single connection to a local instance of MySQL server running in the default port 3306. But we are going to create two another instance using Docker. And to create Docker containers for that, we are going to use this very simple instruction here. Just one single line instruction that is going to create one new instance in one specific port we may define. So let's do that. We are going to run this first line where we are going to create one container with this name, server1, to differentiate from server2 later on. Then we define the password for the root user. Once we have created the root user, we may create another user if you want to. And then saying it's going to run as a service, so the patch and then the port we're going to change. And then here, the image we're going to use, that's the latest, latest image from MySQL. So running that, just open your console. Of course, you need here to have Docker installed in your computer. And here now we are going to have one, one new container created. It already is created into this port, 3310. So now you may come here and open one new connection using this new port here we have just defined. You need to set the password you have also defined in the in the Docker command. And now it is defined. Just set here a name like server server one and then connect on that. As you can see, we are inside this new server. But it, it's to attend one specific customer. Now let's create another environment to attend another customer. So we cannot use one port that is already utilized. So we cannot use this port again. We need to choose another one. So we may execute again in our console the same command. Let me just copy that here. Just one moment. And then change the port. Instead of use this one, let's change this one to 2, 300. 3320. And now we have here one error because the name is the same. We need to change the name as well. So this is going to be the server 2. Now it was created. So if we return to our client and try to create one new connection, just set here the connection properties and then the server name and then the, the password to connect in this server. And now we may try to connect on that server two. So as you can see here, we have one connection to server two, another to server one, and we have both accessible through your same client. Now you could try by yourself, insert data here in the first a server or here in the second server and then try to verify how the data are re really separated one from the other. Thanks for watching. See you next video.